everybody. This is Vanessa from Vans, Van, and Travels, and this is my last day from the couch. I wasn't going to make a video today, and I should have just stuck with that idea because this is like my fourth one that I've deleted. I keep messing them up. But um, I'm, I'm so tired today. <laughs> I've been working on the van all morning, and um, I took everything out of it except the, the big chair and um, and hot soapy water, and I've been scrubbing everything out. So I'll feel better about leaving now. It, it's hard to move the the battery situation back there. Those batteries are so heavy. And then my inverter is hooked up right beside it, and I'm scared to move it around because I surely don't want to mess up the wires or pull anything loose and mess up my solar. I'd, I'd rather have a little dirt back there. But anyway, after I got it all cleaned out, I went out there to do something else. Start, I'm, I've got to start putting everything in my organizer bags now. But I went out there, and with the leaves falling, <laughs> I had to go out there and clean the leaves out of the back of my van because they, they flew in the van. So uh, that's how it goes. If I wasn't so tired, I wouldn't care. But I've been on a tight schedule, so I probably won't, won't do another video um, until, let's say, I'm leaving Tuesday. My son's coming tomorrow to take my passenger seat out, and I might get a little, do a little bit with him. He doesn't really care for me getting him on camera. He just stands there and grins anyway. He's kind of bashful. He's not like Bobo. Bobo likes to be on the camera. He really just likes to be in my lap, don't you, Bobo? Yep, I know. So I wanted to tell you I got my Alpacool refrigerator freezer and it is wonderful in case you need one they are great and they're everything and more of what the reviews that i've seen i i first saw um oh boy i can't think of his name now um slim potato head that's a name for you but he has wonderful videos and um uh, he he's the one that told me about the Alpacool, and then Lady got one, and I I got one of the same size as her. I think mine's a C20, and it doesn't hold a lot. But when I plugged it in, it was sitting, uh, let's see, it was on 80 degrees, and in 10 minutes it had already dropped 52 degrees, and in less than an hour, I meant to watch the clock, but I forgot to. But in less than an hour, in about uh, let's see, a 50 minutes, I'd say, it was down to 4 degrees, and then it just kind of swings back and forth 2 to 4 degrees, so I'm very happy with that, and with my other cooler, I'm taking it so I can put all my fresh foods in there, and if I want to get some ice cream or some meat or something and freeze it, I can keep it in the Alpha Cool. It was worth, it was $199, $200, so it was worth it to me to, it'll keep me from, it'll keep me from having to clean out that big old cooler, but most of the time I didn't mind it because I could just slide it out to the door and, and um, unscrew the little thing and drain it, but sometimes I would forget to check it and I would have some food in a Tupperware bowl and the water would get in there and it's nasty because when it gets out you have to take everything out and scrub the sides down or I do anyway and um, with the Alpacool I can put my uh, pop holder that I forgot to take the last time and keep it frozen because it I mean it that thing is great but um, I would recommend the Alpacool but if there's more than one person I would get a bigger one but I'm glad I didn't because now I, I'm thinking about saving space because I, I just had started feeling cramped. But I bought a lot of junk, and I didn't think I was buying anything. I, it's amazing what two or three little handfuls can do to mess you up when you're trying to make space. So I had, I had accumulated, I took two blankets out there with me. And they, they were warm, but when it got really cold, my feet would get out from under the cover a little bit. 
and I'd nearly freeze, so I'd wear three or four pair of socks to bed. And so now I'm taking a comforter and one other, a one other blanket, and then my little uh, heating blanket. I did use that a few times, but I used it when I was up during the day watching a movie or something. It was so nice when it was cold to put the electric blanket on. But um, I, then I had too many pillows, and I stuff all that down the side of my chair between that and the wall. So I'm only taking... I have, I've put a pillow behind my back when I'm watching TV, and then I like to put one on my foot rest to put my legs on. And Bobo has to have a pillow. If I don't get his pillow and his blankie out, he gets up on the side of the chair and looks down there and starts scratching, and he'll look back at me like, get my blankie. <laughs> and when I get it, he lays down and goes to sleep. So I'm not taking as many things out there. It, it takes up a lot of time when you have four or five blankets and you have to fold them all up to get them out of your way. So when I get done, I'll show you the, the, out, the outcome of it. That's all I have to say. I did want to say hello to Terry Ditchfield. She she lives not too far from me over in Illinois. And um, she had knee surgery a few weeks ago. And she's been through a whole lot of pain uh, the first week. I, when she told me about it, I could feel it when she was telling me. But she is getting better now. And she does have a van. And she's coming out to meet us in Arizona. So that's going to be exciting. And Letty and I will have a, a meetup, but we we haven't, I know she's coming out in November, and we do talk, but, you know, when you're older, you just change your plans at the last minute, so we're going to wait until we get out there and see where we land for a while before we announce it, but we'll try to tell you, um, like, hopefully two, three weeks in advance, so you'll have time to get there if you want to come. We'll have a, I don't know, we'll have a potluck or pizza night or something. Uh, one one lady, 80-something years old uh, from California, she wants to have a wine party. <laughs> I don't drink, but um, I may have a glass of wine. I, I love wine if, if, it's, um, if it's good. There's a, a winery here in just be between me and Bloomington. Um, Well, I can't think of the name of it now, but it tastes just like grape juice. And so I, but I, I don't drink, so I'll, sometimes I'll buy a bottle of it and, and I'll have a glass and I have to pour the rest of it out because I just won't drink it. But I, I do like it and I, I don't think there's anything wrong with having a glass of wine. And it, it is good for your blood pressure. I used to have a glass every night before I went to bed because my Doctor and pharmacist, everybody, nurses where I worked at a medical facility told me it would bring my blood pressure down, and it did. So, but that's been several years ago. I love you guys, and this is it for today. I'll give you some pictures of the, the refrigerator and the cooler so you can get an idea of what size it is. And I will see you next time. Hopefully next time we'll be on the road. Have a good day, you guys. Bye-bye.